Yeah, so the t-shirt they're mine. You know, the one I'm here wear, trust me, it's just like perfectly fit. He spells black like so many different ways. But I want to get into um, this one that you're wearing is about the good hair. Yeah. And you know, good hair is these kinds of hair. That's what we're talking about. Good hair, the afro, that yeah. kind of thing. So tell me a little bit about how you go about doing designs. And I know you have one that's called a tribute to Rasta. Yes. I'm sure everybody want to hear about that one. So tell us a little bit about what makes you think about a design. And in particular, talk about the tribute to Rasta and the one about Jamaica, where you're from. Because we need to know about that. Okay, um, when I think about designs, it's just something, I, I, I think about what is promoting cultural awareness, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and cultural talking points. For example, good hair, you know, we grew up in a, a there was a colonial mindset <laughs> where, you know, good hair is the hair that is approaching Euro European standards, mm -hmm. you know, straight hair, loose curl, Indian hair is good hair, while the real tight, real or, or original African. Organic. Yeah, you know, all of that now is devalued. So we're just really flipping that mm -hmm. on its end and saying, yo, this is good here because it is the rarest form and anything, any jewelry that is rare is of high, higher value. Right. Black pearl and diamond, those things are of high value. So our oh, hair is the rarest here in the world. So, yeah, man, it's good here. I'm good here, I'm good here. <laughs> like that. Yeah. All right. Tell me about the art in the tribute to Rasta, because okay. it's obvious that you're a Rasta. <laughs> so, yeah. tell us about this. Well, Rasta has really impacted my consciousness a whole lot, you know, and um, this is actually one of the first designs I, I ever did. You know, I, I, I call it the tribute to Rasta. It is actually a poem. Oh, wow. And the poem has only R words in it. Right. Okay, and it goes all around. I'm going to read it so you can get it. It's Rally Round Righteous Rasta Resistance, Revolutionary Roots Reggae Rhythms, Raving, Ranting, Ritually Rebuking Rome, Red or Red, Revelations Revealing, Requiring Rapid Radical Redress, Reparations, Repatriation, Rendering Redemption, Resurrection. Rest. Rah, that one's the man. <laughs> so hold on. And of course, we know say showing the lion and the artist, right? Yeah. Man. So you you do, you do poetry, so I dabble in poetry. You dabble. <laughs> so you were just dabbling when you did this shirt, right? Yeah, well, this is this was a wave of inspiration, and I was holding a meds, and right. you know, and you know, this is this came forward, you know, and you know, this this is this is from two thousand and two. Wow. So, that was really when I was really deep, deep, deep as a hillsman in Virgin Islands, <laughs> you know, doing these things, you know. So, um, yeah, that, this is this is kind of sentimental to me. Yeah, still, that, you know? that, that one, the man, all of the rest of them, when you buy the shirt, make sure you yeah. get the R, because the R words, them really rough to rock in. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to segue. Let's move on to the one that you did, the tribute to Jamaica, because we want to hear about this. Okay. More importantly, you're going to do the launch of this in Jamaica in Black History Month of 2011, right? Yes, that is the plan. So, that tell us about the rest the, the shirt that's dedicated to Jamaica. This. Yeah. This is a red right here. So, wow, and that's a Jamaican... Um, the map of Jamaica. Yes, this right one. The, the emblem on that says, Reggae Nations United. I you know? A headquarters because though no, this is a this is an acknowledgement that re reggae is a worldwide phenomenon. Uh -huh. You know, most people take it and make it their own, but Jamaica is the headquarters because we hear talk now that you know they have these big festivals like they might have a Japan splash or something. You know, and you hardly have any Jamaican artists on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it is just a reaffirmation <laughs> that you know Jamaica is. The headquarters. The reggae headquarters. You know, and so it has, you know, it has, it actually has a little poem down here. It says, Skia, rock steady, reggae one drop. Lovers rock, dog wise, dance on non stop. Creative innovators, vibes generator, rhythm pulsator, number one trendsetter. 
Jamaica to the world. <laughs> Jamaica you know? to the world. Yeah, right man. Well. So we're repping, we're, we're repping yard high. You know, we can. I love that. You know? I love that. All right. So we understand where you're coming from and where you're going. And you start January 2010. We're in August approaching September, and you're launching February 2011. So like you move real fast, but you have some good products. So tell us what we can expect from Black Expression between now and when you launch in uh, February 2011. Like fully, fully launch. All right. We we plan to expand the product line because you know this is this is our internet based um, operation mostly. You know, there is some there is some offline marketing, but the bulk of the energy is, is internet marketing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that therefore it's a worldwide market. So fall is coming up. So right. we want to get some long sleeve mm -hmm. tees, you know, some hoodies, you know, we want some headgears, headgears. So that's that's the next step. Mm -hmm. And um, we also want to get kid sizes, you know. So and then. For two thousand for Black History Month, we might act, we started out with six designs. We might actually add maybe you know maybe another two or three designs mm -hmm. just to round it out for the official launch. And um, and and subs subsequent to that, we want to actually transition into more eco-friendly materials mm -hmm. like um, hemp, bamboo, organic cotton. You know, you know we you know. We're starting, we're starting out with, with, with good quality cotton, but we really want to expand because this is just part of the whole consciousness, you know, right. the environmental awareness mm -hmm. and um, really treading lightly on the earth and treating the earth with respect. Mm -hmm. So we really want to live, live up to that, you know, so that, that, that is something that will be happening. And then um, into the coming to the end of the year, we would like to be able to kick off the event production aspect okay you know starting small you know poetry readings in jamaica small scale things and you know and then moving forward to grander projects okay so so <laughs> so you're problem. gonna launch the business in jamaica you're from jamaica but you live in the states is, is, is that right? <laughs> Mama, right? Mama Green Cat. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're so you live in the states, but the business really is 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 a Jamaican, yeah, Jamaican base. But yeah, it's, it's Jamaican but worldwide base. because you're selling on the internet. Right, and we have our we have a relationship with um, Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. because we, I went to school here. You know, we we have our network, we have a strong network in mm -hmm. this area. You know, in this area. Yeah. So, are are you gonna have um a big launch party? What what do you envision for the official launch in Jamaica, Black History Month? That's a big month for a lot of people to flock to Jamaica. So I just wonder if it's going to be a bashment thing. <laughs> As you know, we have to be there. We have some conscious artists too. So, what are you planning for the launch exactly? I'm open to ideas. Okay. I'm open to ideas. Um, I really want. I, I want it. I want it to be in. A, I want to really launch it in perhaps an artistic space, mm -hmm. like a gallery, because you know we see we see black expression as a as a black arts movement. You know, because we feel that so black arts is what will fuel the revolution. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so this was so interesting. These designs are like off the chain. You need to get something from Black Expression, and the website is blackspression.com. That's www.blaxpressio.com. So tell them how they can reach you, iCulture, aka Brian Sims. Okay, let, let me let me pull up. I don't know these things by hand, but I have, uh, have numbers. Uh, um uh 240 <laughs> 654 and also my digital number 876 879 I'm gonna repeat it 240-654-5743-876-879-9903 I can be reached at those numbers or you can drop my email mm -hmm. at brian at blackspression.com These shirts, I want to tell people that they will also be available on flemotv.com which signs on yes, September sir. 2nd. Big respect to <laughs> Flemo TV and Alex. You know, um, we have a close um, 
you know, working relationship with, with, with this organization and they really helped us a lot and we hope that we can work mutually helping each other, you know. So there you have it, blackspression.com. It's an organization that is committed to social change and you know we need that. And the good thing about this website, it's very interactive. So Brian, tell them a little bit about how they can be interactive on the website. Okay, the, the, this is not just, the website is not just an online store, it is a community that we're building, as I said, we're building a vibe. So, you know, there's forums that are particularly interested to the artists then. We love the, the spoken word artists, the poets mm -hmm. to come forward. We have a poetry forum there. And, you know, each design has a concept and ideas behind it. And each month we'll be doing giveaways of mm -hmm. t-shirts based upon poetry that addresses these themes that are represented on these shirts so you know we would like all the the, the grand slammers yeah. of poetry and creative writing to, to really visit our site you know and there will be music live music stream called black expression you know it's not just reggae and dance or it's jazz hip-hop reggae Afrobeat, it's a universal it's 360 yeah, full spectrum blackness we are dealing with. So you know you'll hear that you'll hear it. that will be reflected on the website as well. Excellent. So there you have it, Mr. Brian Simpson, proprietor, proprietor entrepreneur extraordinaire of Black Expression. Get your t-shirt, get black, and be a part of that social change. This is Rosie Peppy Park and you're watching Flemo TV online at Flemo TV. Attorney of Iraq and come in, I mean, me pocket them green like Sperling, I mean, me regular fly out and fly in, I mean, this stadium park like Sartin, I mean. That's great, I love these shirts. Mm -hmm. Let's stick in the list. Watch over, go them come in like Listerine. You think I love